Let's uh, continue working on our Pong game here by adding a scoreboard, or keep score. Um, this keeping score is kind of a long process for Pong, so I'm kind of splitting this section into two screencasts. The first half will show you just how to put text on the screen. The second half will actually show you how to keep score and um, keep track of points. So to put some text on the screen, what we need to do is we need to create a class that's going to create our text. So we're going to come over to the actor classes here and create a new subclass. And I'm just going to call this scoreboard. And when we create a scoreboard, we don't need to actually pick any images for it. We just click OK. Now, for the scoreboard class, we're going to come in here and we're going to uh, start editing the class. The very first thing we need to do is we need to come up to the very top line where it says import greenfoot dot asterisk with a semicolon and press enter and we need to import a Java library called import java.awt with a dot and then an asterisk and a semicolon. And what that actually lets us do is it actually imports color so that we can use Java's colors when we create our text. Now the text class is going to be kind of different from anything else you've created so far. It actually doesn't need an act method at all so we're going to delete that and make sure you leave this uh, curly brace at the bottom here. But the first thing we need to create is what's called a constructor. So we're going to just start our constructor by typing public, and then we just need to type the name of the class, scoreboard, and then usually when we create a method, we need to put two parentheses after it. And up until now, we've never put anything in those parentheses. But sometimes when you write some code, it needs a little bit more extra information or it needs some information to complete the code. So we're going to say that our scoreboard needs a string of text or actually it needs some words. That's what a string is. So when we create our scoreboard it's going to use this text. Also a constructor is different from a method because it's code that only happens once when the actor is constructed or made on the screen. So whatever we write here in this constructor, it's going to happen once, the very first time the scoreboard is put on the screen. So to create our scoreboard, we actually need to create an image. So we're going to use a green foot image called my scoreboard. And the name could be anything you want as long as you keep track. And that's going to equal a new green foot image. And then to create a green foot image, we need a little bit more information. So in parentheses over here, what we need to do is tell Greenfoot how big to make the picture. And so we're going to use our words that we use here by measuring it. We're going to say text.length. That's a method, so we're going to put parentheses after it. Times 20. So for the length of our image, Greenfoot's going to count the number of letters in our word that we're going to use for the scoreboard and multiply it by 20 pixels. So if we type the word like um, Ligaki, which has seven letters in it, Greenfoot's going to multiply seven times 20 and make a 140 pixel wide um, image. And then we need to give it a height, so we're going to type in 30 for the height. Next, we need to tell Greenfoot what color we want our text to be. So we're going to say my scoreboard dot set color. And in parentheses, we write color and then dot and the color we want to use. So the Java colors we can use are actually these right here. And you see they're all in caps. So if I want to use red, I need to type it in all caps. So for scoreboard, I'm going to like go color dot red and then a semicolon. After that, we need to actually draw the words on this, or draw the words. So we're going to write my scoreboard dot draw string. So this is drawing the words actually. And here in parentheses, we write what the string we want to write is. So we're going to write the text right here. And then we follow that with a comma and then where inside the rectangle we want to um, draw it. And this is measured from the very bottom left corner, like down here in the bottom of the T, of where the text should start. So I want to start like two from the edge of the rectangle we've drawn and probably like 20 down because we don't want our text to hang off the bottom. So I'm going to put 20. 
You can play around with those numbers a little bit. If your text is cut off, you probably have to adjust these numbers right here or make your image a little bigger. So I'm going to add a semicolon there. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to um, set the image on the screen. So we're going to say set the image or actually place the image on the screen. I want to put my scoreboard on the screen. And so this will run the first time the uh, scoreboard is made. And now we need to make a method to have it actually update while we're playing the game. So that's just a regular method called public void, and I'm going to call it update. And again, we need to give it some text. So we're going to write string text. I'll show you how this works in just a second. Now, what we need to do is we actually need to make our um, image again, but this time we're going to get the image off the screen. So we're going to say Greenfoot image, and we're going to say my scoreboard, and that's going to equal get the image. So it's actually going to take the image right off the screen. Then we want to clear it. We like basically want to erase all the words in there. So we're going to say my scoreboard, oops, my scoreboard dot clear. So we're going to clear the image. And then we want to draw the image again. So we're just going to come up here and we're going to copy this. I want to come down here and paste it. So then when I press compile, hopefully I have no errors. And what this lets us do is it makes a nice little uh, class for us called scoreboard that we can put on the screen. So now let's put uh, our scoreboard on the screen. We're going to put it in the world. And I like to make our scoreboard up top here instead of inside the prepare method. Because if we do it up top, we can do some other things with it. So to create it, I have to write the class name, scoreboard, and then give it a name. I'm going to call it my scoreboard. And that equals a new scoreboard. And then in parentheses and quotes, I need to tell it what text I want it to start off with. This is that text that was in the parentheses. So I'm going to use the computer's score. So I'm going to write computer score like this. Close up the uh, quotes and the parentheses and put a semicolon there. And then in the prepare method, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add the object to the screen. So I'm going to say add the object, my scoreboard, comma, and then where on the screen I kind of want it to go. So I'm going to just for right now put it at 200, comma 200. I can always move it later. And now when I press compile, if I did everything right, I can come out here and you can see there's my scoreboard. It says computer score and it's in red. Now there's um, a whole bunch of ways we can work with the scoreboard here or text on the screen. So in the next screencast, you can watch how to um, have the scoreboard update.